What's up everyone? This is Aaron Prince for Facebook group autoposter.com and today I am here to take you through the process of scheduling posts and basically using the poster um, to its maximum capacity for your marketing efforts program and now you're logged in. You can see your profile. Our tool allows you to schedule posts to your profile. Um, it allows to post to groups and it allows you to post to the liked pages and to managed pages. Um, just a little word here about the managed pages. Um, if you select one of these pages, it will automatically post as the page. So it wouldn't say like, hey, Aaron Prince posted to page X. It would say page X posted to page X, right? Which is the one you own. Um, we've created several you know shortcut buttons basically so you don't have to you know um, select everything individually just hit all groups and it would select all the groups as you can see here you can add a message a link a picture a name caption description you can set the scheduled date um, to anywhere in the future at any time with any interval okay um, so let me do a test message real quick now I'm gonna hit command F as I have my own test group, so to speak, um, which I have now selected. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to publish the post at five minutes, right? Maybe I'm going to add um, the link here for ease and hit publish post. It'll add it to the schedules list, which can be found in the left menu. See, success it has been posted. Now, I've added a word of warning. Make sure that you schedule uh, one post at a time. So now remember, we just scheduled the post. So within five minutes of now, uh, probably already 30 seconds or so, but you know, five minutes, it will post uh, the, the, the test message that we've just scheduled. Now, if you say, hey, you know, nothing happens, and you put in all the details again, and you're adding it at the same time, and you're posting to 730 groups, so, so, you know, sometimes like I am, um, you're going to post like every other minute, right? Because it does end up in the schedules list. I'll go there for a sec, so you see there's one schedule uh, list here right now. Um, but as said, if you have multiple here with the same date and the same time on one account, it's most likely that Facebook's gonna block you. So make sure that you don't do that, um, um, you know, to make sure. So you can find the info here. Um, you can see this started about uh, two minutes ago and it will post in another three minutes. I can preview the post, like so. I can track the clicks. I can edit the post, so it hasn't posted yet. If I edit it now and hit submit, it will be, um, edited before it goes out to Facebook. Now let's say that we've scheduled to 730 groups, right? Um, in Once you scheduled the post and, it, and it's finished and you want to reschedule the same post, simply hit the clock icon and you can set the date again, set the time, hit reschedule and it will start posting from the start at any given date and time, right? Um, if you do that, while the post is still running, which is possible, um, it will not show here, if you roll over the info, it will still show the initial date that you posted it on. Why? Because it's not done. Once it's done, you can see, you will see that, um, you will see that it, it, it reschedules it right after that automatically and it, it will post. Um, another very cool feature that we built in, which was most requested, were the group lists. Um, group lists, basically let's say you have multiple opportunities you're promoting. Um, once you create a group list, right, so let, let me click on click here, let's add a group list. So it, it, right now it loaded all of my groups, right, and I want to create a group list, main ops. Now I'm going to check all the groups, but... I'm going to take one out, MNU. I had some complaints from the owners, um, and I will remove that. I'll hit submit. It saves, right? The page will refresh, and it will add the list here, main ops, right? And it, will, it, it adds it to me, basically. 
Now if you go to the dashboard, back to the dashboard, um, a new field will pop up, define group lists. So if we open this up, here we have the list main business or main ops. If we check this, you don't have to check anything in here because it will automatically post to all the groups that you selected in that list, which is ideal, as said, you know, if you have multiple opportunities. Now, while I'm talking and explaining to you how my software works, in the schedules page, it should have, it should have, posted, um, it should have posted to the group, right? Now, let's visit the group real quick. And here's the test message, right? By the app Aaron Prince tool test message, welcome to the Facebook group poster. Now, right now it doesn't show it up here because I probably clicked too early, but if I refresh this, I actually see that it posted right to the group and it will show a green check mark. Um, that's basically it. If you have any questions, um, you can all, you're always free to submit a ticket to the support center and either me or my team will get back to you. Um, here is the tutorial section, which is inside the standard and premium poster. Um, it will show you again how to create your Facebook app, how to use the premium poster, and it will explain um, some other neat features that we've built in, which um, I simply have not explained in the tutorial because it's not needed to actually get started. Um, once again, thank you for your interest in the Facebook group auto poster. My name is Aaron Prince, and I'll see you on the next video. Bye.